Welcome to the kingdom. Hello and praise the Lord. Welcome to See Live Moments with Pastor Fred Moore. I pastor the Kingdom of God Christian Center, some of the best people this side of heaven in Round Rock, Texas. That's the suburb of Austin, Texas. And we want to extend an invitation for you to come and be with us in one of our in-person services. Sunday mornings at 11 a.m., Tuesday nights at 7 p.m., Bible Study 75, where we're in. We come in, we worship, receive a word, and leave out to witness. Let me give a shout out to my kingdom family, my precious wife and girls and grandbaby and the men in my daughter's lives, as well as my godson, Xavier McCurry, who makes these podcasts happen and team Carmichael makes our streaming ministry happen. Let's continue, beloved, what we started here the last week and a half or so. Let's pray first. Father, we thank you again. And we just love your word, Father. We love your people. We love sharing your word with your people. So Again, Lord, our, we recognize that time is precious, so make this time worthwhile. Speak, Lord, for your servants are listening. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, beloved, the Sila thought that we've been dealing with is try again. Now, so far, here's what we've done. We're not going to review, but just a statement, a summary of what we've done. We looked at even people in the natural, beloved, from Michael Jordan to Colonel Sanders, who was not afraid to try again. And the last time I was with you, we was dealing with some people from the Bible who was not afraid to try again. But first, let me give you the text that this try again, Selah thought comes from. It's from Luke chapter five, and it's verse one through 11. The emphasis scripture is in verse five, when Jesus told Peter these words. Uh, when, we, well, when, when in verse four and five, it says, when he had left speaking, he said to Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a drought. And Simon Peter answered, answering said unto him, Master, we've toiled all night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the nets. And then we begin to look at spirit people in the Bible who we know from past mistakes and failures, so on, was not afraid to try again. We said even Davis, David, rather, with the hideous sins of adultery and murder was not afraid to try again. Jesus had three guys that constantly ran with him, Simon, Peter, and James, and John. And time and time again, Peter messed up, and James and John messed up, but they were not afraid to try again. And these, are, and these listen, these missteps of these men of God is recorded for our learning and for our example that if Peter can try again, so can you. If David can try again, so can you. If James and John can try again, so can you. Okay, Pastor Moore, that's good. I get it. I get it. You want me to try again, but exactly how do I do it? Okay, let's look at the text now and let's unpack it and see what how it worked for Peter and the disciples in this text. Notice what it says. Verse number one, and it came to pass that as he pressed upon the people to hear the word of God. I'm sorry. As the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God. How, where do I begin, Pastor Moore, when it comes to trying again? You need to position yourself to hear the word of God. Why, Pastor Moore? Because faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. See, faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. See, you got to position yourself. Watch this now. It says, and it came to pass that that as the people pressed upon him to heal the word of God, he stood by the lake of Genesaret. See, we've got to get to the place to where, listen, I'm going to hear. When it says pressed upon him, that speaks of a determination to hear the word of God. Now watch this, watch this. And verse two says, and saw two ships standing in the lake, but the fishermen were going out of them and were washing their ships. Watch this. And he entered into one of the ships. Now watch this. We see how they wanted to hear the word of God, but watch this. You got to allow Jesus in your ship, but not only just allow him in your ship. I'm going to show you that it's important as you try again. Now don't allow him in your ship because listen, this is going to help some of you because as I was meditating on this and getting ready to share with you, because here's the thing with some of you. You've allowed him in your ship, but you're not letting him instruct you while he's in the ship. You got him in your ship. Some of you got him in your life. I don't believe that you at one time were sincere in accepting Jesus Christ as Lord of your life, but you are not letting him instruct you 
now that he's in your ship. I'm going to say it again. You're not, see, again, don't call me Lord and not be willing to do what I say. See, the Bible says when we are willing and obedient, we'll eat the good of the land. If we're willing and obedient, because we have may have let him enter into our ship, but now are we willing to obey what he says? See, you got to let him in your ship. Look at verse three. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon. Now, here's what I like about this. Now, I, I, all this is truth. As I tell my church, when you're reading the word, different things says Let's say something about me. Listen, don't miss this. Don't miss this. He came by the seaside. Now it mentions Peter's ships and James and John's ships. And you're going to see there's others. But here's the point. He entered into one of the ships. I'm glad <laughs> to have a Christ that after I don't feel like trying again, my ship is one of the ones that he gets into. Oh my gosh, my gosh. He entered into one of the ships. Which ship was that? The person who we're going to see in the next uh, podcast where he says, I've toiled all night. Let me throw this in there. That was all night. Jesus is in your ship today. Listen, Jesus is saying to some of you right here, hear this, hear this as we come to a close. Listen, Jesus is saying to some of you, he said, I've toiled all night. That was last night. Today is a different day. Today is a different day. Today is a different day. Let last night and that dark moment go because that was last night. But today is a different day because Peter said we've talked all night. But here's the point I want you to see again. He entered into one of the ships. And I don't know about you. As long as I have Jesus in my ship, as long as, and kingdom family, here you go again. You're going to hear your pastor quote something that you've already heard. I taught you a lesson, kingdom family, or how we, when it says, and they took Jesus with them in the ship. I taught them a lesson, beloved, that we are to sail with the Savior. <laughs> are you selling in life? You ought to be selling with the Savior. Because here's the truth, beloved. He's not in everybody's ship. He's not in everybody's ship. But you come back and I'm going to show you, watch this, why you should try again. You start off by trying again. You got to position yourself to hear the word of God and you got to be willing to let him into your ship. This is Pastor Fred Moore. This has been a Sea Lot Moment. Love, peace, and blessings, beloved.